There's no doubt about it, cats really do make you laugh. And if you thought those funny little videos on YouTube were just a passing fad, here's a sobering fact. Millions upon millions of fans are hooked on them. Cute cats, ugly cats, smart cats, dumb cats. They now rule the internet, making their owners very rich indeed. As Rani Sadler reports, they've become an industry, a whole new breed of showbiz star. Wow! Wow! I think that people love cat videos because they show us something spontaneous. No, 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 no! Get him off! No, 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 eh? Cats usually aren't well trained, like dogs or humans that are used to s being self conscious in front of the camera. <laughs> Cats just do what they do. So, this offers us a glimpse of a world that just enjoys life, jumps into a box for the sheer fun of it. And all this fun posted on internet sites like YouTube is turning a few of these charismatic cats into cash cows. Famous furry celebrities ringing up big bucks for their owners. Hello, celebrity cats. That's Boomer and that's Digger. Hey, Digger. Hey, Boomer. Former Hollywood animal trainer Robert Dolwood quit his day job caring for dogs to turn his cats into internet stars. Did ya? Jump. Jump. Hey! Yay, very good. Woohoo! And Boomer. Did ya is short for didgeridoo. The tabby was rescued from an animal shelter. I'm holding a cat that I think makes more money than I do. Boomer, named after, you guessed it, a boomerang, is a Bengal. One of the smarter breeds. High five. Yes. High five, Boomer. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Robert trains his cats to do unexpected tricks and then posts the videos online. Roll over. Roll over. Good puppies. I had no idea. I thought maybe it'd get 10,000 hits, you know. 80 million hits, you know, later. Didja has a special talent, skateboarding. When one of her videos was shared by skateboarding legend Tony Hawk, millions clicked play to watch the skater cat. It was being shared so much and the hits were just going. Um, I don't think I slept that night. Anything on the internet, if it's watched quite a, quite a bit, uh, millions and millions of views, can bring you money. It, um, but it, it was never the sole intention, to be honest with you. The main goal in the very beginning was to start a YouTube channel to educate people about cats and to give cats a better life. That life is on the Gold Coast, where today Robert has a new trick to show us. Up. Yes, good. There we go. But did ya? is being a diva. Come on, did you're on camera. <laughs> Now's the time. <laughs> Never work with children or animals. <laughs> on the board. We practice this for a week. <laughs> Psst. Hey, come on, let's go. On the board. Did come on. Eventually, did you did it. Come on. Come, on. come on, good. On the board. Yeah, very good. Now turn. Turn. Cats were some of the net's first superstars. He doesn't know whose tail it is. By some estimates, up to 30% of all internet traffic is now cat related. Who would ever have expected that the internet would be ruled by cats?
Well, the thing that I find funniest is that I don't think cats would have expected that the internet would be ruled by cats. <laughs> <laughs> I think that what we love so much about cat videos is that they're so unselfconscious about being filmed. <laughs> <laughs> They don't know that they rule YouTube, but they do. <laughs> Dr Rada O'Meara from the University of Melbourne is researching the unprecedented success of cat videos. <laughs> One of the things I find quite fascinating is that actually a lot of people who watch cat videos don't have cats. Uh, they might dream of one day having a cat. You know, they might be renters who aren't allowed to have pets, for example. Um, so watching cats gives them that kind of thrill and excitement. So if you don't get to, to cuddle a cat or play exactly. with a cat, it's the next best thing. Exactly. And no cat excites feline fans more than this girl. I just met Grumpy Cat, oh my gosh. Best dream come true ever. Better than going to Disneyland. <laughs> By far the best moment of my life. Are you crying? How cute did you see her face? She's like this small. <laughs> oh my god, it was like that. It's like a great cat, you know? They've literally been waiting to do this for a year. They're it's like his favorite thing in the world. Perfect. <laughs> All this emotion for a cat who looks like she couldn't care less. All right, you gotta put your doll up. Grumpy is the world's most successful celebrity cat. <laughs> Fans line up to catch a red carpet moment with Grumpy at this showbiz event, naturally enough, in La La Land. And now frown. Did you have to pay to see Grumpy Cat? Uh, I believe it was like $12, it wasn't that much. But it all adds up, and she does appearances like this all year. It's busy. It's turned into a family business, kind of, so we travel a lot and we get to meet a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of awesome fans. Grumpy met hundreds of fans on this day. Would you ever in a million years when you got Grumpy Cat have believed that she would be an international celebrity? <laughs> no way. Do you still struggle to believe it? Yeah, I still have those pinch me moments. Tabitha Bunsen is Grumpy's proud owner. The Mega Moggy was born with a condition known as feline dwarfism, which is one of the reasons she looks so unusual. What's Grumpy Cat's personality like, really? She's really a sweet cat. Yeah, she's I mean, a big sweetheart. She loves to be cuddled and held. And... Yeah, she's a happy cat. Yeah, she is. Tabitha's brother Brian posted this photo on a popular US website called Reddit. At a million and a half views in the first 36 hours, and it just kind of grew from there. And uh, we just started posting pictures of her every day, so we, we called it the Daily Grub. And soon, Grumpy Cat had a dedicated following, fans around the world sharing in the fun. As a result of her online fame, she now stars in books, cartoons, and even a big budget movie. But still, years after she first appeared online, her viral videos are viewed by thousands each day. And with each view, a penny or two drops into Tabitha and Brian's bank account. Grumpy Cat, obviously, it's really about his look. I think one of the things about a lot of cat videos and celebrity cats is that we project a lot of our emotions onto them. There have been a number of cats that, um, that have been uh, become popular just for their looks. Which is what brings us to the tiny town of Bloomington, Indiana. Hey, Hi. Mike, Bob, how are you hey, doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This hey, is Bob. Bob, nice to meet you. Hi. You want to come in? Oh, yeah, thank you. Little Bub lives with Mike and Stacey Bradavsky, four other cats and a little human called Roscoe. Are you looking at the camera? <laughs> Did you want to say something? She, uh, she loves the camera. <laughs> she does. She knows exactly where it is and she's posing. Mm -hmm. 
In 2011, Mike was single and nearly bankrupt when a friend called him about a sick, weak kitten found in a friend's backyard. And so I took her home. My vet looked at her. He said, she's the weirdest cat I've ever seen in my life. What makes her special physically? So what makes her unique is that she is small in stature compared to most cats. She's about four and a half pounds. She has short, uh, shortened and slightly deformed limbs that are caused by a very rare bone condition called osteopetrosis. She's the only cat in recorded history to have been born with this bone condition. She's polydactyl, so she has extra toes on every paw, and she, her teeth never grew in, um, which they think is a result of the bone condition as well. And she has an underdeveloped lower jaw, and all those things combined make her tongue droop out. As Mike nursed Lil Bub back to health, he started a blog for his mates, which became very popular. I expected 10 to 15 of my friends to follow the blog and comment and do funny, say funny things about her, but that grew to like 100 people, which to me was like, what is going on here? And that grew to 500 people, and then we started getting messages. And this is way, way, way before she became famous. Lil Bub's Big Show. Mike, sensing an opportunity, embraced Lil Bub's growing fame and helped her set up her own chat show. I mean, you're a big star now, Bub. I'm really honoured that you wanted to talk to me. She since appeared with Jack Black in a video to highlight climate change, met Giddy fan Robert De Niro, and now even has her own store when money's raised for cat shelters from a mind-boggling catalogue of merchandise. Socks, books, artwork, bobblehead bubs and plush toys. This is the one that purrs. There you go. Sounds just like Lil Bub. Adorable, right? <laughs> Lil Bub's disabilities are integral to Lil Bub's appeal. That's why Lil Bub has become so popular and had so much impact. Not just any cat becomes a mega moggy. It helps if they have an inspiring backstory. And in London, one ginger's heartwarming tale has catapulted him beyond the internet and onto the silver screen. Help! Hey, mate. Help! Hey, boy. It's OK. The cat's name is Bob. His owner is James Bowen, a former drug addict and busker who lived on the streets. When you were busking and they were shooing you away all the time, would you ever in a million years have dreamt you'd be back here as a... <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? ...movie star? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Don't you get a cat to behave like that? <laughs> oh, he's a, he's a movie star, this one. I know. <laughs> yes. James was trying to overcome heroin addiction when he first met Bob, who at the time was also homeless. Before Bob came into my life, I was an absolute mess, that's for sure. When Bob followed James to his favourite busking stop one day, something magical happened. Before I'd even started tuning up my guitar, people were dropping coins and saying hello to, hello to Bob and giving him a little scratch by the ears. <laughs> All of a sudden, we made like triple what I'd make in a week in one day. And, uh, and then the next day, he decided he wanted to come with me, and it just became a routine. Cheers. Cheers. Isn't that nice, mister? More importantly, Bob brought James out of his isolation and taught him to socialise again. When Bob came out with me and then all of a sudden we were, people were talking to me and interacting with me, it gave me that, gave me that sense of purpose again. And that's when I decided, well, I can't be, I can't be living an existence anymore. I've got to live a life. Videos of the pair started popping up online. Word spread of their unlikely story. Then came a book, TV appearances, and in a fairy tale ending, a movie starring Bob himself. Everyone gets a second chance. <laughs> Luckily for me, I had a very important companion. <laughs> From the streets to a red carpet royal premiere.
now, instead of feeling ignored, James can't go outside unnoticed. And there we have it. Her Royal Highness finally gets to meet Bob himself. And gives him a little stroke. It's, uh, it's kind of like having a uh, magnet attached here. <laughs> it certainly gets the attention. You, How's it going, Bob? James, get in, mate. Ah, there we go. Nice one, Bob. Thank you. You've heard of Bob? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've met him before, met him before, and then read the book and seen the film maybe twice already. Really? <laughs> you love Bob that much? Yeah, he's so cute. Yeah. What is life like now for Bob? What is daily life like now for the big celebrity? <laughs> the celebrity cat? Well, he recently bought a house and he's allowing me to pay the mortgage on it, so. Kind of him. Yeah, very kind of him indeed. It's that kind of transformational narrative that we love in those kind of celebrity cats. Are cat videos just a fad? Cat videos are absolutely not a fad uh, because they've already dominated the internet for many, many years. People click on these videos. They have that element of suspense and surprise as well. We don't know what a cat might do. So many of them have those kind of pratfalls um, where we get comedy, but also the sense that at any moment they might jump, they might fall, they might face plant is what keeps us clicking and clicking. I don't think cat videos are a fad at all. Panda, say I love you. Hi, Australia. Thanks for loving Grumpy Cat.